Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm looking at this local news, right, about the coronavirus. And I just couldn't help but to notice, you know, these parallels. So, look, 23 new cases of the coronavirus on the 23rd. Okay, that could be a coincidence, right? 23 cases on the 23rd. All right. But... I'll show you what's not really a coincidence. So, using Gematria, which is coding letters into numbers, what you're looking at here is the uh, a website called gematrinated.com. And you basically can type in words, and it'll translate the words to numerical values. So, as you can see here, A is 1, B is 2. And you got the rules of numerology. And then you got the alphabet backwards and then backwards with the rules of numerology. So I decided to select, you know, the story name, 23 new cases, coronavirus cases. And I punched it in down there and I got right off the rip. I got 121. So if anyone's been following this work, people know what 121 is. So 121 is the 11th square root square root of 11 and look today's primary date numerology for today is 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 is 11 now i know the story came away yesterday we're gonna get to that why that's important because right now see how today is march 24th 3 plus 24 gives you 27 now look you scroll down this article it says there's a, um, 103 cases. See, bringing the total in the state to 103. Now, 103 is the 27th prime number. So when I start looking at these numbers, and I understand prime numbers and Fibonacci numbers and triangular numbers, I start to see these parallels with these numbers. So this was a fitting day, too. Virus equals 26. Let's see. Corona equals 66. But let's just break this down real quick. So when I spell it out with words instead of numbers, I get 169, which is the 13th square root. Well, it's the square root of 13. Is 169 has a square root of 13. <laughs> Going back to where I'm seeing the news today, you got the 13. Huh. Let's see, I have to click through this stuff. I don't really know. Forty seven today. It's pretty interesting. Four oh seven can look like forty seven when you don't count zeros in numerology. So Today has that primary date numerology of 47. Hmm, 137, the 33rd prime number. Hmm, interesting. But with regards to yesterday, right? Because they said the story was published yesterday. See the multiplication? 72. 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 gives you 72. This article I'm reading locally says something about this guy. You know, he's a native to my state. And he was. it would have been his 72nd birthday. So I found that kind of interesting. I haven't, like, decoded his name or nothing. Let's just see. Because I haven't really looked at it. But there's so much here. So, um, let's just see. 23. Did I just type in 23 new cases? Hold on. Let's see, there's so much here. <laughs> and these are just using four base ciphers. This isn't using all the other ciphers that are available.
53, 163 is the 38th prime. 38th prime. That's interesting because if the news came yesterday, 38 is a reflection of 83. So yesterday was the 83rd day of the year. There's other channels out here that can really decode the coronavirus a lot better than I can. I'm just doing local news, you know. Just, you know, seeing what I can find with just these four ciphers. So, yeah, that's that. And I guess the next step would be just to see. Like, I like to dig apart, pick apart these things. Dig. Dig and pick. Let's just see. Huh. Look at that. 31, right? 31 is the 11th prime number. And what do you know? Today has a primary date numerology of 31 and 11. It's pretty interesting. But going back to like this, March 23rd, I think... I think the word, what am I thinking of? Corona, it is 66 and 30. There's the 33, 137 is the 33rd prime number. 60 and 33 though, pretty interesting, right? Fitting day to get a story about that, Corona. You know, you got these key words, virus, Virus is uh, 26 and 46. As you can see, 26 and 46 for yesterday, March 23rd. And this is kind of interesting as well, too. 89 is the 11th Fibonacci number, 24th prime number. Which you got the 11 for today. No 24s. Well, actually, yeah, there is a 24. 11, and today's the 24th. Oh, how cool is that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> it could, I mean, it could be a coincidence. But, you know. It, that might be, but it's still cool. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Alright, going back to this guy's name. David Only. Huh. Well, we've seen 51 somewhere. I remember seeing 51. Oh, see, Corona didn't... Um, all right, so hold on. Corona didn't type in. Isn't Corona 51? It's not. Hold on. I seen 51 somewhere. Damn. Thought I seen 51. Maybe it was 53. What was it? 23, 23 new cases. It's not that. What was it? There it is. All right. So we get the story about 23 new cases, right? And I know I seen 111 somewhere. Was it the guy's name? You know what's interesting about this? The guy's name is 51 in the reverse cipher, which is the alphabet backwards with the rules of numerology. And you get 23 new cases, which is 51. Huh. And see the 48 for yesterday? 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 20 plus 20 is 48. Well, the guy's name in the most pure cipher is 48. 48. 51, huh? The one one one's interesting because I believe Providence is one one one. 
and 51. So look, see how fitting this is? And 159. So see, when you look at the chart right there, you got overlaps in three out of the four base ciphers. When you just look at it like this. Wow. Woo! So yeah, I mean, one's got to wonder when they look at stuff like this, you know, is it all coincidental or, you know, is there... Is there something more to this? I think... I definitely think there's something more to this. And it's not crazy. It's not, you know... See, now look at this. Yesterday, this the story came out, right? March 23rd. Which has a primary date numerology of 30. 3 plus 23 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 gives you 30. So, 113 is the 30th prime number. You see what I'm saying? So maybe, maybe uh, it could be hermetics at play, but, you know, it could be organic. But I, I, I highly doubt it with this coronavirus thing and a lot of the news that we see. I don't, I don't believe for a second that. V47 is the 69th prime number. 69th prime number. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this could go a lot deeper. You know, um... I'm on my phone, so... I can't really uh, navigate the way I'd like to. Okay, here's another one. All right. Rhode Island, 109. 109 is the 29th prime number. Look at the date numerology. You can write the date two ways and get 29. 3 plus 24 plus 2 plus 0 gives you 29 or 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 20 gives you 29 interesting interesting so yeah also you know look 67 i know 67 is the 19th prime and this is news about covid 19 so you know you know Take it for what it is. <laughs> huh. But I'm sure there's more to the story. But the whole 23 thing and the 103. Yeah, man. There's probably so much more here. But I just don't got the time to really go through it all like that. The only other thing I do want to do is just see what this author of the t uh, article, maybe he has some interesting values. Hmm. 27, huh? 270 looks like 27. And 72. You know, yesterday at the 72, today has the 27 date numerology. I mean, there's probably more to it, too. There's other ciphers you can click, but some of them... I'm not really sure. But that's interesting. That all this stuff just matches up. There you go, 51, 33... We seen those numbers. <laughs> we seen those numbers. Huh. One one one. Fifty one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But as far as the one twenty one goes, look, Corona virus I think it's outbreak it is 
So 23 new coronavirus cases is 121. There's so much more with 121. There's the World Health World Health Organization. If I spelt it right, that would probably help. Well, that's 121. And there's a lot of other things that are 121, you know? Bill and Melinda Gates. Melinda Gates. foundation is 121 and that's important because these are the people who hosted event 201 event 201 simulating a pandemic that killed 65 million people a pandemic that kills 65 million people event 2 I think you spell it like this. Oh, one. Hmm. No. Two, zero, one. Oh, well, two, two, two. Two, two, two. Two, 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 like Wuhan. Corona virus. Two, two, two. We're getting back to event 201. Bill Gates hosted Event 201 in October 2019. And you know what's funny? His full name, William Henry Gates, just so happens to be 201. 201. And if you don't know what Event 201 is, you can go right on Google. Google.com. Oops. And you just search. Event 201. There we go. Event 201. A pandemic exercise to illustrate preparedness efforts. Event 201 scenario. And if you just research this and you check it out, you'll see that all roads lead back to Mr. Vaccine himself. Mr. Vaccine, computers, viruses. Across the street is the Space Needle in uh, Washington State. Viruses, vaccines, needles, you know? Research it. 